Hi, in this video we're gonna make a p-cell. So a p-cell is a parametric cell. In GDS Factory we write parametric cells in Python. So we're gonna start making a new Python file. So it will be file new file and then it will basically I will save this file as a Python. So it will be demo py demo p p cell. So in the in the first thing we need to do is we need to import GDS factory. Import GDS factory gf. Now I have GDS factory import. I'm gonna create a component, and then I'm gonna call this component. So the component is basically a canvas uh, where we're gonna add references to other cells. We can add polygons. And then we're gonna be able to manipulate that component. So it's like an empty canvas. So I'm gonna add a reference. So there's two ways to add references. Uh, so we can use the C add ref, uh, and we can add a reference to another cell. Let's say let's here put a, like another cell from the MDI. Uh, this is basically the generic PDK. Uh, we can create like a type of ten. So this basically has a reference to a component here. So we can run here and then if you click play, you will be able to see here in K layout, um, you will be able to see your MCI. So basically you have an unnamed name component, then there's a reference to an MCI. That component, you can give a name, so let's call it demo. So when we run this, it will change the unnamed to demo. Another way you will see in GDF factory that we use it a lot, we also use this notation where we basically simplify the notation by adding this bitwise operator. So you can see this is equivalent. So instead of add reference, we can do this bitwise operation to an MZI. And basically this also returns a, a, a reference. So that way we can manipulate it later. So I'm gonna also add a pen. Then circular, and then I will hit show, so you will be able to see uh, the layout on the right. So you can see we added a pen here. So now the component has two references. It has a pen circular, and it has this MCI. Uh, what we're seeing is that this pen is not correctly connected. So what we need to do is pen connect O1 to MCI port O2. So we're gonna connect the input of the pen to the output of the MCI. And then we hit run, and then voila, the pen is connected to the output of the MCI. Now that we have connected this pen, we would like to make this into a parametric cell. So I'm gonna make this into a function. So I'm gonna call it defmzi with pen. And this will return the component that we are creating. And yeah, and this is not really a P cell at the moment because there's no parameters. But let's add some radius of the pen, for example. Let's the radius 10, and then we pass radius here. And then, um, if we want to get a good name, it's better to use the, the cell decorator on GDS Factory. So, this will basically automatically we give a name based on the function. So this name doesn't need to be set here. It will be automatically be generated when we call the function. So we click hit play. You will see that this is called MCI with pen. And this gives a unique name. So if we change the radius from 10 to 50, uh, the name will change depending on the input parameters. So it will be, see the name, MCI with pen radius 50, and you can also see the radius have changed. So now it's like 50. So we are gonna also, now that we created a pen, what we need to add is we need to add ports. So this P cell right now doesn't have ports, so we cannot really connect it to anything outside. So I'm gonna add port, the input port is gonna be called O1, and then port equal MCI port O1. I'm going to take the input of the MGI 
as O1 and the output of the pen as O2. And then we can run with a little trick here that you will see um, that we can run here is called show port equals true, which will add some markers at every port. So you will be able to see here there's a little rectangle that came out now as well as a label. Uh, you can always change this uh, layer in, in the, depending on the, it, it uses a layer called show ports on your active PDK, which is on the generic PDK that we by default have activated, it's 112. So you can change that. Uh, now that we have other ports, both at the input and at the output, we can interact this, uh, use this pen to connect to other components. Like for example, we have some routing function in GDF factory routing add fiber single so we can add fi fi independent fiber in and fiber out and basically because now it has this component has ports we can actually router to fiber fibers we can also router to a fiber array where basically they have a constant pitch of 127 micron by default but you can always change this you can just go through the documentation you will see here when I do it this way you can see it has different uh, basically settings that you can use so yeah this is the first part so what we've done is basically we created a Python function that uh, as you can see we can do arbitrary levels of hierarchy because for example this MCI and this pen are also uh, functions like this so that they're basically we call these cells so the a cell is basically a parametric cell it's a function that returns a component so we could even annotate this one as a gf to make sure we understand that basically it returns a component and we add two references we connect one of the reference to the other one and then we add port to the component that we are returning and then this component, we pass it to another function, which is very similar to this one. It's called a fiber array that basically takes that, creates a new component, which basically is a new component. Then inside that component, we have this original MCI with pen. So it's still part of this piece that we created. It's part of another bigger piece that we also automatically name and thanks to our uh, cell decorator. Thank you. I hope this helped.